what's going on everybody gonna do a new test for you today we're gonna do the Prusenic M7 Pro against the Roborock S5 and the way I'm gonna try and do this test is once again with rice and we're gonna do a weighing test whereas it's gonna gonna start with like say eight ounces of rice um, I would do the full pound but um, the bin on the Roborock just can't handle the whole pound it's a big bin and all but it can only really take stuff up to about here otherwise it's going to spill out as it's rolling it's just it just can't handle as much as it looks however the Prusenic m7 pro has been is huge it can handle a lot more so what we're gonna have to do is base it off of however much rice i can fill up in here basically to about there maybe a little bit more otherwise like i said when this is going it's not going to be able to throw on much more rice because there's no plastic bit here to hold in the rice like the Prusenic has. So this can actually fill up a lot more and get higher because of this little flap. So first I'm going to do is weigh the bins empty. That way it gives us a baseline and then whatever the bin weighs after the test is what it picked up in rice, obviously. So, see the Roborock bin right now weighs 5.6 ounces. And the Prusenic, 10.5. Oh, and by the way, I have the Prusenic self emptying bin. Obviously, I'm not going to use that on this test. I do have the normal dock, and we're, I'm just going to run it off of that dock. So it can't have a chance to go back and empty itself. Even though the emptying capacity of this thing is terrible. I don't know if you saw my last video. This thing was completely full of rice. And when it was done emptying, I mean there was rice on the left and right side about two inches high. It was amazing at how much rice that this thing could not suck up. Because of the horrible design of their automatic empty bin. So yeah, that really affects this robot overall. Then you redesign that and yeah, make it a lot better. All right, now I wanna see how much rice I can add to this uh, S5 dust bin before it'll just start overflowing and not really working. like quite a bit. So as you can see, a lot of rice in there, but when this thing's laying flat and driving around, so you should see some rice falling out in any second now. So just barely, I don't know if you can see it without me tilting it back, but yeah, that's quite a bit of rice. We'll probably start with this. It's pretty much dead on with this line. So I think this is a good amount of weight of rice to use for this test. All right, so we were at 5.6 ounces and now it weighs 12.9. So that is 7.3 ounces worth of rice. So that's what we're gonna base our test off of. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, 7.2, 7 we'll start with that. Yeah, I'm gonna spread this around Tell it to go just by hitting the clean button. See how it does when it comes back. We'll re-weigh it. And we'll do the same exact 7.2 ounces for the Prosenic M7 Pro. Or vice versa, whichever one I start with. Alright, I'm going to go make sure that area is clean. And then I'm going to drop all this rice in that area. And we're going to see which one does the best job on it just by hitting the, the clean button. 
Uh, I think I'm going to start this on the regular suction power. Just to be honest, I think if both of them had high suction power on, they would both get every single piece. So let's start with normal suction, and if there's a big difference, then maybe I'll try the high suction and see what it does. So, All right, let me uh, prep for this test, and I will be back. Alrighty, I put down the 7.2 ounces of rice, which is always more after I put it on the ground than I think. There's quite a bit just kind of kind of thrown out everywhere. Honestly, I don't expect either robot to really get all this at once, but you know, I want to see which one does the better job overall. So once again, we're going to start this on the regular power mode, not the high power mode. And I'm just going to start them in the middle of the room. And then when they're done, they'll say, you know, searching for dock or whatnot. All right, we're going to start with the Roborock S5, just sitting in the middle of the room. And I'm just going to hit clean on the app. And then we'll see how it does. Remember, it's a normal suction. Uh, it does not have the advanced carpet mode on to where it's on the app. And then we'll see how it does. Remember, it's a normal suction. Uh, it does not have the advanced carpet mode on to where it turns it louder. And then as you can see, it's on standard. Sounds like it's pretty loud, but that's definitely not turbo. It's just standard. And then medium is going to be a little bit higher than, of course, turbo is the super loud. So hopefully, we'll see out of 7.2 ounces just how many this picks up. So I'm gonna let this run and do its thing. And I'll speed up the middle here where it cleans so that way you can see it go. And uh, yeah, I made the best robot win. All right, well, the Roborock S5 is done. Let's just take a look on the ground and see how it did. You know, you can see some grains of rice here and there, which I expected. So I believe this is only going to do one pass. Um, if I were to tell it to do 2x clean, I bet you would get every single crumb. Which that could be another test if you guys want to see that. Uh, this and the Pristina, you can tell it to do basically a double clean. I think up to three times. And uh, it would get this completely spotless. I guarantee you both of them would get it perfect. So there's a little bit of rice here and there. You know, not a lot, though. So let's go ahead and weigh the bin. All right, good. So I was worried there might be some just sitting on that brush roll. That's what happens when it gets too full. It kind of just packs it in there and can't basically do anything else because it's just going to keep going like this. So let's go ahead and see how much this weighs. Remember, this bin itself weighed 5.6 ounces. So we're at 12.8. So 12.8 minus 5.6, we're looking at 7.2 ounces. That's actually exactly what we started with. So there is a few pieces scattered here and there, but of course rice just doesn't weigh much for little pieces here and there. So according to this, it got all of it, 7.2 ounces. This is the exact amount I put down. So I put down 7.2 ounces. It got 7.2 ounces. So very good job. Uh, we'll see if the Prasina can do the exact job. So I'm going to reset, lay down the rice, and then we'll start with the Prasina. <laughs> Now we're on to the Prusinic M7 Pro. 
we're going to see if this guy can get the exact amount as well, like the Roborock S5 just did. It's actually surprised that I got all 7.2 ounces, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to lay this. I put down 7.2 ounces of rice again, pretty much in the same spots where I try to. And uh, we'll see how it does. Once again, I got this on standard mode as well, which is the same as the Roborock. All right, so I'm going to let it run and do its thing on standard mode, and we'll see how it does. One thing I want to say really quick is I really like how quiet this is, even on standard mode. This just sounds more, it might sound stupid, but soothing than the Roborock. I mean, they're, they're both not super loud or nothing, but this one just has a nice, like, note to it. Anyways, we'll let this run. I'll speed it up like I always do, and then we'll talk about it at the end and weigh it and see how it does. So, I will be back. Enjoy. All right, well, the Persenic is now done. Let's take a look at how it did. So just from what I could see, I see more rice than the Roborock left. Not like a ton, but certain spots like over here, it's quite a bit more. I don't know how or why it missed that. Uh, maybe I'll see something on the footage after I speed it up, but yeah, it, Missed a lot right there. And then just throughout, there's quite a bit. So I can pretty much guarantee the Robo Rock is gonna win this battle. But let's go and weigh it. Here's another thing I don't like about this Pro Scenic. Let me see if I can, let me take off the camera, that'll make it easier. So even though this bin is massive, and it's not, it shouldn't be full. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of it. But see how the flap is kind of stuck open? So as soon as I pulled out this, all that's just sitting in there. So as soon as you pick up this robot, all that rice spills out. So, yeah, oh, see, look at that. So that's not very impressive. <laughs> So say you were going around cleaning up this big pile of rice that your kids spilled or whatever. As soon as you pick up this robot, it's just going to dump a bunch out. So, yeah, that's not very good. So since it probably was in there until I moved it, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and throw it back in there. Just this little section. I still think it's going to lose to the Roborock, but according to what I see... But that, I'm going to leave in there just because that was there when I pulled out the robot. So, when I pulled out the bin, or other. All right, let's bring this over. 1.7 ounces. So, yeah, about a half an ounce it missed. Or that's what it left in that little area in the back because of a poor design. So, it did good overall. It still did it pretty good for that amount of rice. But, yeah, there, there's a lot more, without a doubt, a lot more left than the Roborock. So, to me, the clear winner, Roborock S5 all day. There's just, there's just too much rice laying around. Wow, that's pretty cool, though. 
So I'm going to go and dump all the bin content into a bowl and then weigh the bowl just, just to double check it all. All right, so this should be 7.8 ounces because the bowl weighs about half an ounce. No, that's right. That's not that because it didn't get the half an ounce. So, yeah, that's right on par. It missed about 0.6 ounces. And there it is because this bowl weighs 0.6 ounces. So, yeah, the Roborock wins. Honestly, after having this for a while, I was really excited when I got this thing. And I actually made a video saying how much I love it. Which I still love it. It's a good vacuum. But honestly, I think the Roborock S5 is still a better vacuum. And sure, it doesn't have the automatic cleaning bin. But that thing sucks anyways. <laughs> not in a good way. It does not do a good job. They need to redesign it on this Prosenic. And just make a much better bin. Even if they have to charge $150 to $200 instead of $100. You get what you pay for. It's, it's just not a good self-emptying bin. So for basing it just off the robot itself, I would definitely go with the Roborock S5. Uh, I believe it's a little bit cheaper, too, if you can find it on sale. So good job, Roborock. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other test you want to see. If you want me to rerun something like this on high power, let me know. Oh, by the way, this was a giveaway video. So somewhere in that video, there was a number, a letter, with a triangle, square, circle around it. And this is video number four of five. So the next video you see will be the one where you, hey, you have to email me the full five-digit or number code. And then the top ten people who email me that will get put into a drawing and win a Roomba 675 are totally free. I'll ship it to you and everything. If this is the first video you've seen of this contest, I would recommend you subscribe. Go back and watch the other three videos and find that letter or number, and you'll have a chance to win. So, thanks for watching. Y'all have an awesome day. See ya.